electrolytes are a word that you're going to hear again and again and again when you start keto and I wanted to clarify exactly why it's important so I tell everybody that I work with all my clients I tell them that they need to ensure that when they're starting keto that their electrolytes maintain a proper balance but I suppose it's important to understand why one of the things that electrolytes do is control the amount of water that goes in and out of cells it helps conduct um, nerve impulses and controls muscle contraction and relaxation so movement of your heart is a contraction and a relaxation and that's why you get leg cramps because the 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 balance of the electrolytes that control the cramping and the relaxation are off which means that your body's going to be doing things the wrong way let's say um, and that's why electrolyte imbalance can be so dangerous because it causes these contractions and the, this um, mistimed um, relaxation so you end up you can end up with irregular heartbeats because of electrolyte imbalance so it's really important so without um, the electrolytes controlling the flow of water in and out of cells imagine it's like a house plant if you overwater it it's going to drown if you don't water it enough it shrivels up and your cells are exactly the same so it's really vital that you have this good level of electrolytes and this balance level you don't have to test for it there's no sticks to pee on there's no blood samples to be taken you can get it tested at the doctors but what will tell you quicker is how you're feeling so when you put salt in water for example it breaks down into its component parts which are sodium and chloride now there's a, there are a lot of other electrolytes um so the sodium which is basically table salt potassium chloride magnesium um calcium phosphate bicarbonate they're all types of electrolytes and normally we would get them from our food so we get them from vegetables from seeds from dairy the cheeses and, and uh, yogurts and butter and things like that um, and when you start out on a ketogenic diet the level of electrolytes goes off balance because if you are eating the standard American diet or the standard global diet as it is now um, the bulk of your calories was coming from carbs and you are inevitably eating a lot of wheat and the, because the wheat in our modern diet is so processed it's fortified so what they do is they take the wheat germ they strip it off they take out the fiber they take out all the nutrients and you're left with this white powder that is nutritionally sparse there's no nutrition in it so the governments have made flour manufacturers put all the stuff back in again so they take it out and then they add it back in so they have, if you, you'll see it on cereal boxes, you see it on bread, it's a fortified wheat, fortified wheat flour. It just means that all the good stuff that they took out of the natural wheat germ, they have to, to put back in because otherwise it, it has no nutrition. So if you think if you're the majority of your diet is taken up with modern wheat, you're actually getting a lot of added electrolytes. And when you switch to a ketogenic diet for the first time, you're replacing the bulk of those calories with um, fat. And while fat will give you the electrolytes that you need, the body get, goes through this period of imbalance and you experience carb withdrawal flu. Now, I'm not going to call it keto flu because I want to get away from calling it keto flu because it's a misnomer. It's not flu because you have, you're have you on keto or you're in ketosis. It's flu because you're coming off highly addictive, highly refined, highly disease-creating carbs. So it's carb flu. It's carb withdrawal flu. So when you're coming out of that um, and, and changing the bulk of your calories to come from vegetables and seeds and meats and um, butter and all that other good stuff your body will just take a little time to to adjust to it so you need to supplement those electrolytes until you are eating a well-rounded enough diet that you don't need 
the, the additional electrolytes anymore. If you're exercising hard, you will need to replenish your electrolytes because when you sweat, you also um, excrete electrolytes. So you need, to have, you need to replace them. But stay away from things like Gatorade and those electrolyte replacement drinks. They are franken food. They ha have an ingredients list this long. You know where I get m most of my electrolytes? Mineral water. Not necessarily San Pellegrino, I happen to like this one, but mineral water. Mineral water is going to contain um, calcium, magnesium and chloride. I add salt to my food, so that's my sodium. Um, I eat a lot of vegetables and a lot of seeds and um, a lot of meat, a lot of butter. So I get all my electrolytes from there. If I feel like my electrolytes are going a bit screwy, I'll add in a bone broth or a bullion there. The difference between bone broth and bullion is bone broth is more of a gelatinous drink that you might make at home or you get in a jar that you spoon out. Whereas a bullion is a freeze dried mix of um, fats and, and vegetables. Um, that's the only difference. Himalayan salts are really good for um, helping to balance electrolytes as well. Literally take two or three little rocks of Himalayan salt, put them under your tongue, let them dissolve, wash down with a glass of water. And that is a really quick, quick way of balancing your electrolytes. If you live in an area where you're lucky enough to be able to drink the tap water, if it's a hard water area, you're going to get a lot of minerals in the water. It's like natural mineral water coming through your tap. So where I live, I'm surrounded by mountains. I've got the, the French Alps to the south and I've got the Jura Mountains to the north behind me. Both of which are very um, rich in, in lime and in calcium. So the water that comes into our house here is really hard. I have to descale my kettle and my coffee machine at least once a month. But I know that the water that's coming through the tap is of a standard that's perfectly safe to drink. But not only that, but it's full of minerals as well. The reason that I drink San Pellegrino is because I like the carbonated water. So I hope that this video was useful to you and can help you understand a little bit more the importance of electrolytes and why I keep saying keep them balanced, get the bone broth, get the bullion. Drink it twice a day when you're starting. And if you feel like you have cramps or you feel lethargic, if you feel dizzy, lightheaded, um, if you've got palpitations or you feel your heart skipping a beat, get some salt under the tongue, let it dissolve, wash it down with a glass of water and you'll be good to go. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already because I'd love to have you back. And I'll see you again next time.